tell me. I hear you. Is it you? Is it you? I hear you. It's very frustrating to get a word on financial blessing and not see it break through. And there are those of you out there that know he takes care of your daily bread, but your heart's desire is that this big blessing comes in so it can go out to further the kingdom of God. I'm going to go through some of the things that God has shown me that might help you internalize uh, what, what might be blocking it up. So, uh, obviously, number one was the word from God. If you got the word from God directly and can discern that it was indeed from him, then you can move on. <laughs> uh, but if you got the word from outside of yourself, did you pray about it? Did you ever hear of such a thing as a smooth prophet? So, you know, what is there? what was the smooth... I don't want to say smooth prophet. What was the, what's the prophet's track record? Uh, is good fruit continually, continually being produced? Uh, it's very important that anything spoken to you is then taken to God for confirmation. You can't just say, oh, that sounds good, and say, yeah. I mean, you have to take everything to God for confirmation. I mean, you can, you can still speak it forth. Yeah, doesn't everybody... Uh, initially went to, to serve God and uh, with, with their financial blessings. Yeah, but uh, you need to, to really seek God if it is indeed a word regarding supporting uh, what He's doing in a larger way. So number two, you have to take a dominion. Come on, how often does money just fall down from heaven? Uh, it does on occasion, you know, I'm sure there's some Christians out there that have won the lottery or something like that. But God has equipped each and every one of us with desires in our hearts and brains to seek education, hands to plow with, and spiritual authority to overcome. Uh, the devil doesn't want you to do anything to advance the kingdom of God. So it's your job to manifest. Having done all things, therefore stand. Out of educating yourself and getting the work done, no matter what, realize that being effective for God puts a bullseye on your back. And not only on your back, but everyone you come into contact with in everything you set your hands to. You know, this is war and the devil wants to shut you down at any cost. You might be happy to educate and work hard, but if your blockage always hits outside of your own control, it's because you have to take authority. Uh, what does this mean? Obviously, a lot of prayer. But, you must prayer shield everything and everyone you come into contact with, along with prophesying those words of financial blessing, despite whatever it looks like in the natural. If you haven't been doing this, you're going to see your life radically change, as this is what grows the anointing and gets you in closer union with God. Um, but you have done this, you say. Well, number three, is or are the vessels pure? This is the biggest hang up to birthing a financial release. And I've got a little example. Here we go. Here's the blessing. It goes in. And not only does this one have a hole in it, which I can show in another example, but see the water's dirty. If you look at any of the really big moves of God, uh, you know, nobody's perfect. But the, the really big moves aren't people that are saying, hey, look at me, I'm going to start a ministry, whatever. Their heart just really wants to 
you know, God's kingdom to come down. So uh, what's important to them is purifying themselves, examining themselves. They want to be clean, want to be pure. They want to be that vessel. So, um, and, and I say vessels. Um, you know, God needs solid vessels to pour into. And they can't have any holes in them. Uh, and, you know, and, and they need to be pure. You know, how much water would it take to keep pouring into this? And it keep pouring out until even the water is clean. Think about that. That's, that would be a lot of water. God is, is more able, think about it, to first find a vessel that is pure, that is clean. You know, to start from scratch here where it's clean, where it's clear, you know, and you could still be a clean or clear vessel, but then you got to deal with, is the vessel all patched up? Are there any holes in it? Because if it can't hold it, if it can't hold the anointing, what God pours out, then, uh, you know, it, it's not going to be able to withstand what God needs to use it for. So, first of all, clean. Second of all, no holes.